The line from Shakespeare's play, Methinks Ye Protest Too Much, describes someone who overly insists their innocence when the Greek evidence to the contrary is overwhelming. With our current state of affairs, Afghan, the pandemic, the economy, the climate, the border, and the funding bills, if their policies made sense, why is the administration working so hard to sell their plans? They insist Afghan was a successful withdrawal. We must all get jabbed. There is no inflation. Humans are destroying the planet. The border situation is stable. And the $2 trillion infrastructure bill will cost zero. Methinks ye protest too much. There is a myth that democracy means freedom to decide how we live, how we raise our families, and how we handle our possessions. But when dishonest agenda spawns envy, revenge, and greed, it becomes mob rule, which never turns out well. Thank God we do not live in a democracy better described as mob rule. The founders gave us a constitutional republic based on our core values of truth, fairness, sustainability, and integrity, where individual rights are protected. Even in republics, protest mobs can become uncontrollable, where individual values and logic are abandoned. Destruction, violence, and anarchy by those who have nothing to lose results. The most dangerous foe is someone who has nothing to lose. Our constitutional republic exists in name only, having violated or revoked so many of our constitutional freedoms that we are reaching that point where we have nothing to lose. Their agenda destroys personal freedoms that are easily spotted, like in Hamlet's Queen Gertrude when she said, Methinks ye protest too much. There is a deadly cycle that threatens our country, with hundreds of examples found throughout history. Dictators always inject themselves into the culture, starting out with messages of sympathy and righteous calls for justice for the downtrodden. Dishonest agendas are then inserted through gentle coercion and fabricated grievances, splitting our nation's citizens while empowering the repressive regimes. When, they st when these movements sense they are losing, panic sets in intensifying their repressive tactics by striking while the iron is hot. Their intention is to install a totalitarian government as soon as possible before another election is held. Panic lies behind these blatant lies. This will cost you nothing. The blank vaccinations will halt the pandemic. Anyone unvaccinated will be deprived of employment. By insisting their stimulus money must be wasted by not allowing it to reduce taxes, improve roads, build bridges, or infrastructure is economic stupidity. In other words, it must be spent and have nothing to show for it. This stimulus is the greatest bribe for voters in history. Their Robin Hood promise to take from the rich and give to the poor will ex actually give the rich more money while the poor get nothing but more promises. If they vote Democrat, they will stay dependent upon the government and the government's aid. It is unsustainable as they always run out of people with money. We are truly living in the best of times and the worst of times, but as this is the only time we have. Our purpose in life is to save our soul and make the world a better place. If one does the first, the second is guaranteed. This is Keith Kuby wishing you the best in making the world a better place.